Hi guys and welcome to Motoscotti. Now a couple of days ago I received an email from a viewer of my channel asking about how I made a decision uh, about what electronics to buy. As you might know I have the Idea Geniali Electronics Season 1-2 and he is also a Nightrider replica owner and he is about to build his dashboard as well and he doesn't really know isn't really sure what electronics to get and it's kind of hard also sometimes to see exactly look, which electronics you're going to get like obviously a lot of people these days go for ZA, we, we, ZA electronics which is a fantastic set of electronics uh, but then obviously there's uh, Idea Geniale, there's Jupiter, there is uh, maybe different ones I think uh, Knights of England also uh, make or used to make uh, dashboard electronics Anyhow, so instead of just uh, replying to him, I replied to him, but I said I prefer to just make a video if this information could also be useful for anyone else out there. And, you know, that's basically what this channel is about. I want to bring useful information out. Sometimes it's entertaining, but most of the time it's useful. So let's get right into it. While Kit is scanning everything out here, I'm moving over to the electronics. So why did I buy Idea Geniali. Well, to be honest, I had my eye on either Idea Geniali or uh, ZA or ZA because I just really liked the look and feel of uh, ZA. I, I knew ZA from my buddy uh, Joel from um, Swiss Knight 2000. Please check out also his uh, YouTube channel and he recently put up a detailed video about his dashboard and all his functionalities and how he came about the whole thing and how it is set up. So he has the complete dash with uh, the switchboard, with the gullwing, with the lower console, with the, the upper console. So I'll leave a link in the description to his channel and to that latest video. And then maybe, you know, the, I was always a bit in two minds about the dashboard. In the very beginning, when I started my project, I wanted to have a complete, perfect, accurate replica of kit. And then as I got into it and put so much effort into restoring the actual car and putting the outside and the interior um, cloth and seats to kit specification, I kind of hit my budget and I let it sit and then I enjoyed the car as it was and then I was always in two minds whether I should actually really do the dashboard or not. And when I did, I went for Idea Geniale because first of all, it's a good bit cheaper than a ZA. And it has lots of functionalities, um, but it doesn't have all the gadgets that ZA offers uh, standard, you know. Because ZA, you can actually just you can actually just uh, plug in your computer and you can you can program stuff. You can have loads of gimmicks, show modes, and and all the kind of stuff that actually I don't know in detail. But you can do so much, and and they create updates, and they're free, and you just get even if you have the electronics from couple of years ago you get the latest software update you plug it into your laptop the laptop onto your electronics and you have the latest system so with Idea Geniali it's a little bit different you have different versions uh, on the boards you have yeah, I have the speeder board 2.6 and then I have the RPM board which is 2.2 um, which doesn't necessarily mean that they're not compatible I uh, talked or I was emailing with uh, Paolo from Idea Geniali a few months ago around New Year's and uh, he recent he then saw my video about how I wired up everything and hadn't seen it before even though I put it up a few years ago and he gave me really nice well feedback about it he enjoyed it and said that well I was asking him actually if I could do a bit of custom modification to the boards and he said yeah that would be probably possible but it depended also on the version of the boards you know if, I ha if you have the boards that uh, where the connectors connectors um, stand out like this and they kind of the big connectors I don't remember the exact wording where these um, kind of plug into one another so if you have uh, detachable screw terminals like these then um, it is updatable uh, According to Paolo, I think these are, this is what he means. Anyhow, you need, uh, basically you can take out the chips and do an Arduino 
programming. I have to get in a bit, bit more into it. Actually, I have to get into it full stop. I don't really know exactly how that works. But it doesn't seem to be that, uh, that difficult. But back to the main point. Why did I finally choose Idea Geniali? Well, I found out that it has everything that I want my kit to do. And it just looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, the boards uh, look really nice. And what you'll actually see is the overlay. And the overlays are in, uh, made out of aluminum, aluminium. And which you also get from ZA, but I mean, look at look at those. I don't know if they are identical. I don't think they are identical because some some areas are different, but they are same style. I think you can also get the plastic ones. And uh, but I did want the aluminum just because of the looks and the mix. For me, it's just a much nicer quality touch, just visually. Fit on is perfectly and the thing with these is that you really don't have any play like they just all the diodes they just kind of slot into place where the openings are and just looks doesn't it look great that's that and then also the second thing i like about the Geniali overlays is that down here for the the three row dummies and to p and b button that's one single piece in the background you always have like little grooves here on the edges on the cutting lines you can also cut it cut them if you want but i heated them up and bent them because when you have it on the dash it's not that straightforward to actually get the upper and the lower line of the dash of the fiberglass part on which this is going to be mounted to have that exactly at the same level so that when you mount them the the lines you know they don't kind of go down or up or it's a bit tilted and when you have the three pieces together the whole setup here needs to be like perfectly aligned top and bottom so that uh, like this entire section bolts on straight which is actually perfect because then we'll, you'll have no gaps here you know it's all straight you know it's all perfect so I mean, you want to have it nice and straight anyway, so why don't like this in the end, it helps you. But if you prefer, you can also cut them here and you have a, let me see here for the RPM board, it's the same with the six row dummies, you have a cutting line here. And then what he also offers, or what he has, these boards actually have a, have a grooved line here because let's say you like, you have this close to the, uh, you have this close to the the overlay the bezel of the voice box and maybe here with the dash and everything and, and all the structure you set up to 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 hold the various um, sets of electronics this might get in your way so they make it easy for you to just trim it off here and you also don't kind of slice your hand while you're handling it let's see if i will have to do this i'm getting quite close to assembling the dash that's why i don't want to show it i now i want to have a dedicated video onto this but now i'm just kind of getting into why i chose the idea geniali electronics i mean it's nice and heavy and i mean it's aluminum it's not that heavy but it's like solid a bit dusty but that's fine and then you do when you get to the wiring Obviously, this is the wiring harness that I bought from Media Geniali. You don't have to have this. Uh, the last time I did it, when I wired up the electronics for a friend of mine, I just bought cables myself combined with a few cables that he provided, and that was fine. I mean, it's 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 pretty straightforward. I agree that with ZA, it's probably even easier because you get a harness and you plug and play the different boards together and you don't have to think too much about it. But it's really straightforward. I mean, you do see, uh, I mean, obviously you have a ground and you have a, a plus 12 volt and it's everything is labeled and you have very straightforward um, manuals on the ideageniali.it website where you can click on the respective product and just go into downloads and download them. They're in English and Italian. And now that I've done it already once, I know how it works and I'll go back to the the manual, of course. But I mean, 
I think it's pretty straightforward. Here you can you can set up uh, your speed sensor. So depending on what car you have, you whatever you have it to 8K speed, 4K or 2K. And I believe my <coughs> my car has a speed sensor is 2K. And then you set up the those the jumper also between uh, kilometers per hour or miles per hour. And and then on the RPM board you have another jumper for the um, the RPMs where you select the number of cylinders you get a jump of four six or eight and then that's done so the RPM level is correct and that's basically it I mean there's not much to it and the another thing I like about Ide Geniali is the PMP button obviously with ZA you do get ZA PAMP button and they are um, just perfect also like because this is this is how much you're going to see and feel when you when you have it all assembled but with uh Ide Geniali you get those original um Honeywell I think the, I think the brand is Honeywell where did I read it the last time on oh, here no but I believe these are the original this is micro USA the original um buttons that Kit Dash used in the original show on TV and I could be mistaken but as far as I know and as far as it's advertised on the website also I think these these are the ones and it's just nice touch and feel and again the whole cutout with the with the uh, overlays there's just it's just perfectly cut and straight and there's no like there's just enough gap for everything to come together you know i clicked this in i've had it in before and then i really had to work with uh, a large screwdriver to clip these back in to pull this out i'm not going to put it back in now but it just sits in tight and neatly and that's just you know solid What else can I say about the Idea Geniali um, electronics? One reason in particular that I wanted to have those is that all the boards can be connected separately. I am not exactly sure how it is with uh, ZA if you can um, just have one or the other kind of connect uh, them separately, but I, I'm not sure. But I don't want to say something that's not true, so maybe you double check with ZA. Um, but I know that it's the case with um, Idea Geniali. That's something that came in handy later in the process when I had already bought this because they way, the way I want to set it up is that actually the, uh, the Speedo and the RPM are connected to uh, ignition 12 volt. So when I switch on the ignition, I have all the vital information, all the information that are actually just related to the car, the speed, the odometer, the RPMs, the light, in it, like the blinker, lights, uh, engine temperature, oil pressure, like fuel gauge, that this always comes on when I switch on the ignition. And then I can kind of connect with a second button the rest of the, the rest of the electronics, but then I can also switch over that if I just want to go into show mode, that with the uh, power on button, all of the electronics come on. And that, uh, that I can very easily uh, configure with Idea Geniali, with Idea Geniali uh, electronics. I know, let's say with um, ZA, uh, there is the, um, the night mode, night, night switch, not the dark night. <laughs> if you go to Swiss Night 2000's video, he talks about that also, and that's why it kind of made me laugh, because um, that's where you have the possibility also to have a, a, a dimmer, uh, functionality in on the ZA electronics not so much of well, at least not standard on the Idea Geniali I know that uh, Paolo from Idea Geniali he does custom programming for whatever you want as far as the the, the board support that so that's possible but for me I want basically all the vital functions just with the ignition switch and that way also when I drive at night I don't have the voice box I don't have the countdown glaring into the windscreen and back into my face or all the other dummies is uh, lighting up too strongly in the middle of the night I can just switch this off with the switch because and let me switch the camera back around for this 
because what happens is that basically you go in, you feed a, a ground wire and a plus 12 wire, plus 12 wire from your energy source on your battery uh, into the um, into the um, speedo board and from that you kind of kind of feed it to an another cable in here and feed it on to the uh, the rpm board and basically you 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 have a chain connection a series of uh, connectors or connections from one board to the other and from the speedo board to the rpm board from the rpm board to the six road uh, dummies from the six row dummies over to the first three row dummies and from the three row to the second three row and then you close the circuit and this way you can just also connect one with one feed and the other or a series of other boards from from another uh, source of energy so that's very very easy one thing that i do find a bit strange is that the message center here is a sec is a separate board i mean strange how do i say this correctly it's i mean it gives you the possibility to install the message board separately wherever you want let's say if you didn't want to make a proper uh, complete night rider dashboard and just have this kind of message center board um, but as for having the whole thing together in one piece uh, it doesn't there is no necessity to have a second board that you have to screw together and then connect with uh, separate wires. I mean, it gives you the option to do whatever you want, but if you just want to have a complete dashboard, it's uh, it's an additional piece that you have to ha put together, whereas if you buy the ZA, it's just one board as far as I know. I, I'm not so much familiar with Jupiter. Um, I forgot the YouTube channel's name there is. I'll put the link into the description. Also, there is a, a guy I follow, also a replica builder, that I think has Jupiter Electronics. He's from uh, Quebec, uh, Canada. Very cool channel. Also makes a nice, nice proper um, follow-up through the whole dashboard build and even previous videos about his kit. He's uh, in a similar stage, or he's kind of overtaken me now with building the dashboard so kudos to you guy and uh, there you can find out more about jupiter i'm not sure like i have a small piece of old jupiter electronics with the three row dummies and i don't think that the um the lights go back and forth as much as they go on EDA Geniali or on uh, on za in my opinion when it's when it's built together and you just have it in show mode with all the dummies going back and forth and uh, the message center which shows you the random random messages uh, like uh, I am the night industries 2000 and oil pressure and and whatnot I couldn't tell the difference I couldn't tell the difference between Ide Geniali and um, and ZA if, if for those standard things as you go into the details depending on what you've programmed of course, then you can see it, or maybe if you have a closer look at the um, a closer comparison of the overlays, you might be able to see the difference. Um, for me, they are on a, visually they are on 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 a very similar level. As much as, or in addition to that, I mean, I have to say that uh, most people use, or in addition to the electronics from ZA or EDA Geniali, use uh, KRW um, products for uh, overlays. Here the voice box bezel. This is from KRW. And then as for the, the switch buttons, or switch bot buttons, the electronics are clearly different. I know on KRW you can buy additional buttons for, for um, for your switch bots, which I did, I, I wanted to have, I mean, you have the standard ones that kit came out first with all the buttons that didn't really have a specific uh, specific functions because they didn't really know yet what they were going to use. And as the show progressed and they invented uh, functionalities, they, they added them on and you just kind of the, the show, the, um, the show dashboard or the, the studio dash. Um, kind of zoomed into all these and I bought those extra buttons and installed them because I found them so cool I want to have all these all the sounds on this for that maybe on that topic what can also be of uh, interest is that if you connect 
the switchboard electronics to um, the uh, the rest of the electronics of the switchboard electronics of Ide Geniali. Basically, the uh, the voice box is the brain of the whole thing. This is where the main power comes in. This is where um, this is where the PAMP buttons are connected to. This is where the connection between you know. This is where the lights go off. The the startup light for the first four rows here, which are conjunct with the uh, with the countdown lights that come on. This comes all from here. All the lights for the PMP button. This comes on from here. You know, like uh, you have. They all wire up into here and up there and around here. So this is basically the brain of the uh, electronics, and if you just wire up. Uh, the switch but in a standard way every single button when you press it will just generate a DTMF tone from the voice box and but you can easily solder on a wire and connect that to a soundboard and then have uh, mp3s on the soundboard which then you know then produce the sound that you have connected that wire to so I have to say that Idee Geniali it's very modular. You have to be willing to do a bit more effort yourself in terms of um, maybe wiring things up if you want to, making adaptations with that, or even just the general, the general um, wiring up of the electronics might frighten a few. They go, look, I'm not proficient in all this wiring and electronics. It's not that complicated. Again, I'll leave a description i leave a link in the description to my other video where I showed how to wire everything together. It's all about just following the thing step by step. You start with the ground, you start and you go on with the 12 volt and then you you wire up the PNP button with the uh, uh, with the voice box and, and so on. And, and, and before you know it, you're done. And it's probably even easier, like on my video, I have all the electronics laid out on the table. It's probably even easier if you have the electronics already mounted to your dashboard and then you have the correct length of the the, the, the wires that you need and it's a bit neat and tidy. But yeah, it's probably a little bit more effort involved into wiring it up, even though I have to say it's not that that big of a deal. Anyhow, I'm rambling on. I don't, I'm not sure if any of that was useful or is useful to you. Uh, let me know in the comments if anything of this uh, makes sense to you. If you feel uh, more inclined towards uh, ZA or Ide Geniali, uh, or if you have different questions. I mean, I like to take your questions and, uh, and make a video of it if I think that might be useful to, to, to the whole community of Night Rider Replica Builders, Kit, kit Replica Builders. Just let me know in the comments. I hope this will be one of the last times that you can just see the electronics here on the table and soon I'll have it in the dashboard. Anyhow, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.